Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video from Simon Says It. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to easily lock cells in Excel so that you can share your spreadsheets without worries. Imagine this, you're working hard on a project with an Excel sheet that contains important data. You share it with your team and for some reason, you later find out some of the important information is missing. It's frustrating, isn't it? That's why it's important to know how to lock cells in Excel. It will prevent these unintentional errors and save you valuable time. Before I begin, keep in mind that all cells in an Excel worksheet are locked by default, but it will not have any effect until you protect the worksheet. With that out of the way, let's see how to lock all cells in a sheet easily. As the first step, select all the cells in the sheet using the Control plus A shortcut. Then, right-click anywhere on the sheet and select Format Cells. You can do this easily using the Control plus 1 shortcut. In the Format Cells window, click on the Protection tab. Make sure the checkbox next to Locked is selected. This is to check if the cells are locked by default. To enforce this, you have to protect your worksheet. The easiest way to do this is to right-click on the sheet name and click on the Protect Sheet Sheet option. Now, set a suitable password in the Set Password section. Below, check the allowed actions for users when they enter the right password. Now, reconfirm the set password. That's it! All the cells in the current workbook will be locked and password protected. Now let us see how to lock specific cells in Excel. It is very similar to the previous method, but with a small twist. First, select all the cells in the sheet and go to the Format Cells window. Make sure all cells are unlocked by unchecking the lock box under the Protection tab. Then, select the specific cells or range of cells that you want to lock. Now, again, go to the Protection tab under the Format Cells window. Here, check the lock box. Now, protect the sheet to apply the changes. To do this, right-click on the sheet name and click on the Protect Sheet Sheet option. Now, set a suitable password in the Set Password section. You can also choose the allowed actions for users when they enter the right password. Now, reconfirm the set password. Congratulations, you have locked specific cells in your worksheet. You can now verify that only the selected range of cells are locked. Now let us see how to lock formula cells in a sheet. Sometimes it makes sense to lock only important formula cells to make sure other users don't mess with them unnecessarily. You can do this by following these simple steps. First, select all the cells in the sheet and go to the Format Cells window. As usual, make sure that all the cells are unlocked by unlocking the lock box under the Protection tab. In the Home tab, locate and click on the Go To Special option under the Find and Select section. In the Go To Special window, select Formulas and click OK. This will make Excel select all formula cells. Once again, open the Formula Cells window and check the Lock Cells option under Protection tab. Set a password and protect the sheet to lock your formula cells. All your formula cells are now locked and cannot be edited. Finally, let us see how to unlock ranges in a spreadsheet for users to edit. Locate and click on the Allow Edit Ranges option under the Protect group in the Review tab. Click on the new button under the Ranges Unlocked by a Password when a sheet is protected option. Now enter a title for your range. Then specify the range and set a range password in the new range window. Click on the permissions button to choose which users are allowed to make changes to this range. Under the permissions for range 1 window, add users you want to allow and choose if range password is compulsory for them. Click on Apply and then OK. Re-enter password for confirmation. Finally, protect your worksheet to enforce this new rule. Congratulations! Hereafter, all allowed users will be able to edit the specified ranges of cells after entering the password. That's all, folks. In this guide, I have explained how to lock cells in Excel and protect your worksheets the easy way. I'm sure this will come in handy when you collaborate with your coworkers. If you have any questions about this or any other Excel feature, please let us know in the comment section. We are always happy to help. Thank you.
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.